Hi, welcome to my YouTube channel. If you watched my previous video, you would have known that I bought a pair of Kef LSX speakers to add to my desk setup. I've been reading through a bunch of forums and Kef's uh, own documentation to figure out how to get the best quality sound output through these speakers. I couldn't find the information that I was looking for, which is like super basic, and I tried. I started experimenting with different approaches. Uh, bought a couple of devices as well, and uh, finally figured out how to get the best out of these speakers. So, uh, if you're a beginner and just bought a pair of Kef LSX speakers and trying to figure out how to get the best sound quality uh, from these speakers, then this is the video you have to watch. Kef LSX speakers supports uh, input files up to 192 kilohertz, 24-bit, and uh, output on wireless mode you get. 48 kilohertz and on a cable mode you get 96 kilohertz if you're wondering what this wireless mode is and cable mode is uh, the master speaker communicates with the slave speaker through a kef's proprietary wireless connection and in in, in that mode the the output what you get is only up to 48 kilohertz but you also have an option of connecting th these two speakers using an ethernet cable this would allow uh, you to have an output of 96 kilohertz. If you look at the connectivity options available in the speaker, uh, you can connect via Bluetooth or you can also connect via a Wi-Fi network, for example, to use AirPlay. There are also wired inputs. So you have an uh, auxiliary input 3.5 mm and you also have Toslink optical. If what you're looking for is just great sounding speakers, that you can easily connect wirelessly, then you just use Bluetooth or AirPlay and, and these, will, these speakers will sound really good. But for those who really want to get the best out of these speakers, there are two things that you have to do. One, get a CAT6 Ethernet cable, connect these two speakers, the master and slave, using uh, the Ethernet cable. Second is download the Kef Control app, set up the profile that you want, or you can just leave it at default and go to preferences and turn on the cable mode. If you don't do this, uh, the connection that you just made with the Ethernet cable wouldn't make any sense. I use a MacBook, iPad and an iPhone. So uh, what I'm going to do is explain you how to connect these speakers to these devices and in, in the best possible way. I'll give you two options. One is the OK-ish way or the basic way uh, where you get a decent sound and second is the best way that I found on these devices. First is using an iPhone. There are a couple of ways of connecting it. One via Bluetooth and you can play music like how you stream to any Bluetooth uh, speaker or uh, you can also use AirPlay 2 because Kef LSX uh, supports AirPlay 2. Recently Apple announced uh, high-res audio on Apple Music and these speakers connected via say AirPlay 2 should sound decent. You can also use Tidal if you have the $19.99 subscription to stream uh, music. But this is not the best way. The best way to do it is download an app from Kef called Kef Stream. You can connect either Spotify or Tidal to Kef Stream and then you can stream music directly from this Kef Stream app. I'm not really sure about the output but I'm guessing that it does give you a give you 96 kilohertz output i'm not a big fan of uh, kef stream app i did use it for a couple of weeks and then eventually i gave up on uh, the kef stream app for apple music you can also use an external DAC connected to your iphone but i haven't tried that yet second is streaming from macbook the okayish way is to use either tidal or apple music uh, and uh, select LSX from the device list and streaming directly to Kef LSX. And in Apple Music, you will also notice that you have you will have two options. One is a, a route, uh, which is computer and then LSX, and another option of streaming directly to LSX. And you should pick uh, streaming directly to LSX if you want better quality. The best way to stream music from MacBook to Kef LSX, in fact, there are two ways. One is you can get Rune, connect Tidal, and then stream directly to your Kef uh, LSX. 
but keep in mind that rune uh, you will have to pay close to ten dollars and tidal another twenty dollars so thirty dollars in total another way of doing it is using an external DAC I recently picked up the topping d10s because you can have a USB connection from your MacBook to the DAC and you can also have an optical output which can then be connected to KEF. So I tried both Tidal and Apple Music. On Tidal, I noticed that uh, I couldn't get uh, more than 96 kilohertz output on the display of topping. I don't know why, I'm still trying. And, sec and, and you also have an exclusive mode on Tidal which actually circumvents the uh, MacBook's internal DAC. Second option is using Apple Music and uh, using an external DAC, but keep in mind that the output is always limited to 48 kilohertz. So if you're focused on Apple Music and have a MacBook and you wanna try to get the best out of KEF LSX speakers, don't spend your money on an external DAC. Third is streaming from iPad. The okayish way is similar to what I explained in the iPhone step, which is, using either Tidal or Apple Music and then streaming via Bluetooth or uh, AirPlay 2. But the best way to do it is using an external DAC. In my setup, I'm using the Topping D10S, connecting uh, my iPad to to Topping D10S using a dongle, uh, USB connection, and then connecting Topping uh, D10S to KEF using a Toslink optical cable. If you're looking for a perfect setup to combine Apple lossless high-res and KEF LSX, this is probably the best solution that I found, which is iPad, an external DAC, and uh, KEF. But then in, in this case, I found topping as the cheapest and best uh, one possible because you have the uh, topping D10S has optical out. And with this setup, you can absolutely play uh, Apple high-res lossless at a very less cost. The topping D10S is not very expensive. You can pick up one less than $100. I picked one from Amazon, a used one, for much uh, cheaper price. And the cable doesn't cost much either. So that's my setup and concludes my journey into trying to figure out how to get the best out of uh, these KEF LSX speakers. So they are not truly wireless for me at the end of the day. It's, it's fully wired connection, but then I get the best quality sound that I can get out of these speakers. If you have any questions about my setup or um, any other questions related to KEF LSX, drop a comment and I'll try to answer them uh, to the best of my knowledge. If you like this video and the content that I'm creating, give a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel. Until next time, stay safe.